The bench press is a critical lift for football players and not just for the reason you're thinking that it's every meathead's favorite lift. The bench press develops strength in a horizontal pushing movement, which is extremely common in football, potentially more so than any other sport. And it builds the pushing musculature within that movement, your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. And I know a lot of people will say, but that's not what makes you hit or extend harder or better. You know, you have to use your whole body and train that on a sled or hitting people on the field. And you should be doing those things with your coaches anyways. And training that movement is critical, but that's more for the nervous system optimization within that specific movement pattern than it is to strengthen or build those muscles. So now training that movement with your newly strengthened muscles from benching will make your on-field hitting and punching power that much greater. And number two, it's the only lift measured at any combine. I love all pressing movements. I think most of them are really great. The reason I say barbell bench press is because it is, again, the only lift that's measured at any combine, whether that's a high school combine to try to get college scouts to notice you or you're going from college into the NFL. The only difference there is in high school, they rep 185 pounds, and in the pros, they rep out 225 pounds. This isn't an indicator necessarily of sheer strength, although somebody that's a lot stronger will likely get a lot more reps at 225 that, than somebody that isn't. That's just how it works. It's more of an indicator of how hard of a work you are in the weight room. Now, if they see a defensive end coming out of college that's a stud and you know 275 pounds and he only hits 11 reps on the bench press, like that's, that's a red flag. This, I mean, he should be able to do that having never lifted a weight in his life. So has he ever lifted a weight in his life? That's the reason I say barbell bench press. But beyond that, there is, it's a great bang for your buck to build the pushing musculature in a horizontal position, which is crucial for football. You don't have to go grab super heavy dumbbells one by one, strut over there, place them perfectly on your knees, lift them up, hope it doesn't fall this way and have a spot. It's, there's a lot of room for injury on the other ones, but it's also taxing on the nervous system, which is already highly engaged and you don't want to overfill your cup as a football player with all the speed work you're doing, the positional movements, being on your feet all day, going from meeting to meeting, walkthroughs, practice, games, you already have a lot on your plate. You want to be able to work the muscles you need to work in the weight room with the best bang for your buck that you can, and bench press does that. If you're not new to bench press, I wouldn't worry too much about that technique. You probably mostly have that down now. Football players are not power lifters, so I, we're not gonna be super critical. The bottom line is you wanna be consistent so that over time, you're certain that your progressive overloading, which is just a fancy term to say adding more weight on the bar over time, getting stronger, is due to you getting stronger and not because you're altering your technique or something. Um, another th good thing to note is as a football player, one, my strength in conditioning coach my first year in the NFL for the Raiders had taught me especially in your warm up play around with your grips go a little close grip go medium go you know go all over the place um, because you want to be able to train your body to push from different angles and a close grip bench press is another very good training method because most of your extension it's going your hands are closer together now as you get wider you want to go with the most um, comfortable hand grip that you can for the bench press for you and you're going to have to find that over time a lot of people like to start as a baseline the knurling is that little smooth line on the bar. Start with your pinky there, play around with it closer or wider based on just where you feel strongest. I go uh, usually the ring or middle finger. Um, so again, you know, feet on the ground. I put a little bit of arch on my back, try to keep the butt, your butt on the bench. And it's simple as <laughs> lowering down, pushing up. You don't want to overcomplicate things for football players because they are not, again, power lifters. They already have an entire playbook of things to remember and analyze and have technique for on the field and their positional movements. You don't want to overdo things with the lifts, which is why you want to stick to the basics, which are not injury prone movements, which is why I advise also to stay away from Olympic lifts and opt instead for jumps because there's no teaching curve and there's a very, very low injury curve on that one. Now, back to the bench press. You guys wanna see me rep out 225 as many times as I can? First time since the combine, potentially. Ah, first bench press lift in a little while as well. Let's see, see what it feels like. I did 34 
back in 2012, they took three away at the very end because I lifted my butt too much because I'm too damn competitive. They gave me 31. Ah, I think that was 27. I'll take that. I haven't benched in over a month. Ah, okay. Bench press. Long-winded explanation to lower the bar down and push it back up. 